Hello friends and welcome back to the Grow Up channel and today uh, I'm going to stop rambling around just me talking and let's start actually doing something we actually have a, a helipad to to model as we have established on the, the last episode so what I'm going to do right now is to open unit editor and start developing something let's go Okay, so we are here on the Unit Hub, which is the mandatory software for us to actually use Unit. I'm going to start a new project. Uh, we kind of have some some templates that we are that we are going to to use, right? Uh, we have samples, we have the learning stuff, uh, but right now what I want to do is that I want to start the 3D with the render pipeline. And that's it. So the first thing I'm going to do is to get the official helipad size so we can know somewhat how big this is going to be. So apparently, if you see the helicopter size, you can, you can have around 10 meters. So basically, there is the, the center square where the helicopter lands. It need, needs to have around 12 meters. Then we have two times that and three times that. So that's around 36 meters square. And since the Resident Evil helipad, it is actually a world helipad. It must be like 10 meters around that. So we're going to do like 40 by 40. I think that's that's quite a good size. Okay, so now we have the the Unity editor on and as you can see there's only a black screen with absolutely nothing here so what I'm going to start doing is that I'm going to create a few objects first I'm going to create a plane which is basically going to be our floor uh, I, I suppose this is correct I mean it, it has a mesh collider so it's not going to fall <laughs> forever also, this guy here, we are going to add a component. Components on units is basically things that allow us to edit the behavior of, of which one of these objects. So when it has a mesh collider, that means this object over here, it exists and it collides with something. And I'm going to add a rigid component on this, a rigid body. So it has mass, but it does not use gravity. Which means that this is a floor now. It's going to stay floating wherever I put it. Because it's a it's a body, it exists, it has mass, and at the same time uh, it does not use gravity. Just as like we created the floor, we have to create the walls. So I'm going to add a few more objects, which is going to be cubes at this point. And I'm going to move them. It's been a while that I don't mess with this, so <laughs> I might be a little lost sometimes okay let me position a few more walls here so i'm going just to i'm going to rename this object so <clears throat> we try to keep this project as organized as i can so this is going to be wall one i'm going to duplicate this guy over here okay so this this should be our stage as i would say our helipad start to have some stuff to work with uh next I'm going to add some textures and some objects here. So I'm just going to quickly search the internet for some very simple textures and I'm going to add them. And by the magic of editing, you are going to see these images already on the project. <laughs> okay. So next, uh, I'm going to add some details to this canvas over here. That. Uh, of course, I, it's, it's not going to look beautiful. This is like the, the first thing we're developing. But I want to put some objects over here so it looks a little more convincing. I'm going to grab some some 3D objects here to put on, on this, this canvas. So it looks a little more appealing. And for that, I'm going to use TurboSquid. Which is a website, basically it's a repository of 3D objects that you can download and use like trees. We have a forklift. Doesn't look the best, but it's here. So I'm going to 
position this in order to make it a little bit more convincing for me. Does this thing has textures? Water just got ripped. DH, DXF, what's a DXF? Okay, it has no textures, so fuck me, I guess. Uh, let me add a, a color to this, even though it has no, no textures. And I want it to be a little yellowish, so it kind of resembles what a forklift should be. Let's put this here. And I want one. And I'm going to duplicate this guy because I want another one. Yeah, these guys need materials, so I'm going to create two new materials because I want them to have colors. So this is going to be container one. And then I'm going to create another guy. And this guy is going to be container two. Container one, container two. And let's give some cover to these guys. So yeah, I want a headish one. And I want a bluish one. So yeah, in the in the classic covers. Okay, so this is this already looks much more alive than what we began with. Also, as like uh, background objects, I want to get a tree. And they're going to put the tree on this. What the hell? Why why is this tree has so many objects? Doesn't need a camera, doesn't need doesn't need that. Just the tree. Give me the tree. Okay, so the existence of this tree over here is basically that it's going to be able to be seen from the helipad, even though it actually does not... Um, it's not part of this scene, but it's there to give life to this scene. So that's how, that's how this thing works. I'm just going to duplicate this guy a little bit, because we need some copies of it. This looks much alive. Now, now that we have our e-scene set up for our initial testing. Uh, I'm going to search for some templates to the player object, which is basically going to be the the player character itself. So as we as we have discussed, we want the over the shoulder thing. So yeah, let's let's go to the asset store and see if we can find some templates to start this with. Yeah, okay, this one looks looks okay for the start. Uh, and the thing is, uh, I want to grab something that's simple and I want to modify it to my needs, which is what I believe. As I said on the last video, uh, we don't need to actually recreate everything <laughs> from the from the scratch. From the scratch, Ooh, the only thing I want to do is get stuff that exists and use it on a healthy way okay so <clears throat> now we have the the second project open i'm going to load the the example we seen that it exists in here as you can see pretty, pretty much looks what uh, what we are doing so let's see how this thing works if it uh, fits our our purpose or not it's a little far away. Yeah, I mean, it kind of fits the premises that we are looking for. Oh, it even has a run animation. Okay, so... Okay, space to jump. I'm going, I'm going to change a, a few things. First, I don't want... Oh yeah, I want this to be permanent. Like, the aim mode should be permanent. shoulders okay oh, there's the there's the superman fly mode they're not going to use that yeah the animation is a little bad the, wa the walking animation is much better like th this is exactly what i want okay as you guys can see uh with this template there's a script over here 
And this is... I bet this is the thing that we will need to... That we need to fix. We need to, to change in order to, to fit our, our premises. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to get the, the things that I I did on the... Actually, I'm going to... Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Okay, so you are going to use most of the stuff that, uh, that exists in here. Get just going to add my stuff that we have gotten on that first uh, on that first example that we built. So let me grab these things. Okay, that seems much better. Let me get my cargo stuff over here. I'm going to do the same thing that I did on the other thing, on the other example. I'm just going to put two of them over here. So this is one, duplicate this guy, get him up, they should be aligned on the corner, now get the trees, take the objects that we don't need from the tree, yeah, okay, v visually it looks okay, yeah, visually it looks okay, what is the, my forklift? <laughs> Don't get me rid of my forklift, man. That's I like my forklift. Oh, it has texture, <laughs> by the way. So we're using it. Comparison to a human. Okay, much better. Yeah, it looks like a, a real life forklift. Put it here. Forget the elevator for now, I don't care. I just want the wall textures back, so I'm going to get them. Now it looks okay. I, ju I just missing the I'm missing this. I want I want to get the materials here again. So let me create the container one and create a new material. The container two. There we go. So everything should look start to get some form. Yeah, okay. These things look look alright for now. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to finish off here today. We have set up a, a basic scene unit that we can walk on and we got ourselves a a good template for the, the player model. Next next episode we are going to start messing up with the script from the from this template and see if we can fit our needs. So just to remember, what I want to achieve is that I want this, basically this camera, to be the the standard, not the aiming one. A little bit further away, but yeah, this, this one looks really, really good for me. And yeah. All right, so that's it for the third episode. Uh, things are starting to take form now. We are starting to, to see how the game will actually look like and play like and feel like and yeah sure it's based on a template but we're going to change this template for our need and i'm a good programmer so i i'm really hoping i i will get my my, my head around it pretty, pretty fast so hope you guys have enjoyed if you did please like subscribe give me a comment it always helps and thank you so much see you guys next time bye bye